Hello drone community, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School and welcome to this week's edition of our Drone Weekly News Roundup. First up this week, we've got a series of <gasps> leaks out of Autel that reveal three new drones they're working on. Then I'll share some research on DJI and what percentage of the commercial drone market that they now represent. A um, little teaser there. Finally, I want to feature a really cool UAS company out of Boulder, Colorado called Black Swift Technology and what their drones are being used to do up in Alaska. All right, let's get into it. A series of recent leaks reveal three new drones expected from Autel. These leaked drones include the Autel Evo Lite, the Autel Nano Mini, and the Autel Evo 3. As you may know, Autel has been celebrated for its Evo 2, which was designed to compete with DJI's Mavic 2 Pro. I know many of our students are flying Autel systems and like having a non-DJI drone to rely on for certain types of client missions. Autel seems to be following the same playbook here. Each of these drones appear to be mapped to kind of compete directly with a DJI drone. So the Autel Evo Lite is comparable to the Air 2S, the Nano is compared to the Mini 2, and then the Evo 3 is comparable with DJI's anticipated Mavic 3. So in this video that you see now, you can see the leaked product in what looks like an exhibition hall. So this leak may actually be part of a planned marketing tactic to create buzz, but needless to say, we are excited. Next up, according to a new report from Drone Analyst, DJI's share of the commercial drone market has dropped 15% in the past year. In 2020, they owned about 69% of market share, now they're around 54%. Drone Analyst attributes the dip to several factors, including diminished staff size, cancellation of events like Airworks, stiff competition, and the addition of DJI to the US Department of Commerce's entity list. However, on the consumer side, DJI's dominance has not shifted at all. The report shows them maintaining a whopping 94% of the consumer market. We'll link to the report below this video. Okay, lastly, the drone maker Black Swift Technology has partnered with NASA, the US Geological Survey, also known as USGS, and the Alaska Department of Transportation to observe and study potentially dangerous volcanoes. The observations are being conducted with Black Swift's Swift S2 fixed wing drone, which is being flown beyond visual line of sight so researchers can get the aerial data that they need. Right now, the focus is on the Makushin volcano, which interestingly enough is ranked by the USGS as within the highest threat category in its National Volcanic Threat Assessment. USGS hopes that this initial mission will allow them to deploy the S2 UAS platform to other volcanoes in the US and, and worldwide in the near future, both for gathering baseline, monitoring data, and in response to crises or eruptions. We are rooting for you, Black Swift. This is a really cool application of unmanned aerial systems. All right, folks, that's all we've got for this week. We like to keep them short and sweet. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying. <laughs>